What is going on, everybody? So I'm back today to talk about another new release film that I was actually really excited to check out. This was one I didn't know a whole lot about it. I didn't even watch a trailer before I got into watching this movie. The only thing I knew about it was that Micah Monroe was in it, and I really like her. I think she's a really talented actress, and I was looking forward to see this film, and I know it got some pretty decent reviews from what I was reading online, and so I was looking forward to check this one out. And the movie I'm gonna be talking about today is Watcher. Watcher is directed by Chloe Okuno. As a serial killer stalks the city, Julia, a young actress who just moved to town with her husband, notices a mysterious stranger watching her from across the street. So as I said, I'm a huge Micah Monroe fan. I really thought that she was fantastic in It Follows. I love the movie The Guest. She's done a lot of films in her career that I've really enjoyed, and I think that she's a really talented actress. And so I was really excited to watch this after I knew that she was going to be in this movie, and I really liked this movie a lot. This is a film that I feel like we don't get a whole lot anymore. I talked a while back about an Amazon original film called The Voyeurs with Sydney Sweeney in it that was kind of schlocky and a little goofy, but it has a very similar premise to that, like a rear window style film, but this is executed with so much nuance and the character development in it is so great that it's really hard not to love this movie. It's very slow burn and it's very character driven, but if you're into that kind of film, you'll love it. So as the plot description says, Micah Monroe's character moves to Romania with her husband who is in this career field where he's constantly gone, he's leaving the house, and his parents are from Romania, and so he speaks the language fluently. Micah Monroe doesn't speak it whatsoever. She's trying to teach herself, but they move into town into this building, and across the street, she looks up and she sees this guy's silhouette in a window almost every night. And at first, she doesn't really pay a whole lot of attention to it, but it starts to become more prevalent that it's seeming like he's constantly looking into their apartment. And so she starts to get build up a little bit more curiosity to where curiosity turns more into fear. And at the same time as that's going on, you have this story in the news of this serial killer who's going around and murdering people where they're at. And so you have those two things kind of building. And what you have on top of that is because her husband is never home, you have this kind of internal suspense of our lead character who's constantly feeling isolated isolated and alone and broken and she's, she might be losing her mind and she's constantly questioning herself and her decisions as to whether or not this is all just a product in her head or if she's really seeing this type of stuff go on. And it, it really is great the way the film plays out. It's a little over an hour and a half runtime, but what's great about it is it takes its time to kind of build the atmosphere of where you are in these buildings and kind of the isolation that you would feel if you were in this situation. And a lot of that is due to the cinematography. I thought there was a lot of really great shots in this film that would like slowly kind of pull out of their apartment as like you are the onlooker of what's going on in there. Like the opening shot when they're moving in, they start kissing each other on the couch and you have this view coming out of the window of you watching something as like a voyeur and like looking at something that you really shouldn't be looking at. And that was executed really well. And the cinematography in this is really great. There's so many excellent shots in this movie that kind of give you that atmosphere and that isolation. And what I like is the way that Micah Monroe's character is really the focus. And when she's walking through the streets, a lot of times, like the people in the background are going to be blurred out. So you never know who's following her or what's going on. And then you have the introduction of these different people that live in this complex with them, especially her next door neighbor who they start to bond. Uh, she works at this club. They get really close together. And this movie is a lot about believing women as well. It has one of those tropes that I've talked about in movies before that I can't stand where a husband doesn't necessarily believe what the wife is telling him and kind of chalks it up to just, oh, you're alone, you're by yourself, you, you don't believe me because you're living by yourself. And it's like never taking the second to think like, hey, there's this stuff going on in town. Like there's all this crazy things happening. Maybe the two things are correlated. And he does do some investigative work through the film to kind of like help her. But at the same time, at the end of the day, he, he just kind of pushes it to the back burner and it kind of leads to this slew of events that happens that just kind of builds up in tension to where there's this really great sequence where Micah Monroe goes to the movies by herself and then goes to this grocery store and she thinks she's being followed. And it's executed so well where you don't see the person's face just like clothing and like the silhouette and that's what I like and the when the his face is exposed 
and you start to kind of figure out, is this the person living across the street? It really just kind of elevates that tension and builds that suspense and keeps you as the viewer on edge even more. And I loved that about this movie. It really did have that sort of like rear window Hitchcockian suspense that I love to see in a movie. I love these character driven suspense films that kind of keep you on the edge of your seat and get you excited for what's going to happen next. And I never knew what twist and turns this movie was going to take. And I really did appreciate it. I think that the pacing isn't always perfect. It's a little slower, uh, There, which I'm a big fan of slow burn horror films anyway, so it didn't bug me too much, but there was a couple moments that pulled me out of it. But other than that, I thought this was a really well executed thriller that if you have the chance to see, you should definitely watch. So have you seen Watcher? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was great. It was really well executed. Micah Monroe gave a great performance. The cinematography was beautiful. I was really surprised at how much I enjoyed this movie. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and I love hearing your feedback about what content I'm making that you enjoy the most. And as always, thanks so much for watching everyone and have a great rest of your day.